second clutch. And the second clutch has not been faring as well as I would have liked. Don't know what's up with them. Something is just not right. But those eggs, if you remember, looked the worst. But this guy has been having, like, neurological issues. Kind of resembles a seizure at times. As you see as he's running. I don't want to let him get too far. He'll start flipping himself around. He's just, something's not right with him. Don't know what his issue is. They're about two months old now, and he's still alive. But something's not right. I don't know if he will survive or if this is kind of him. They've had calcium since day one. They've had food readily available. But this guy just is not acting right. Like I said, the second clutch in general... They're a lot smaller than I'd like to see them. They're not eating as readily as I'd like to see them. Those eggs didn't look as good to begin with. So I don't know if it's just some type of birth defect that happened with that clutch. None of them had any obvious birth defects. None of them had any disabilities like the first clutch having one disability. But they're just not doing as well as that first clutch. Um, hate saying that. Hate thinking that. Don't want to go underneath there. Um, but I just don't think this guy will make it. You know, when you pick him up, he just doesn't act 100% right. His head isn't as strong. It resembles to me possibility of calcium deficiency, although there's no reason for that. Um, none of the other dragons have that resemblance of a calcium deficiency issue. I don't know if it's just this guy didn't have the appetite and didn't eat as much, so he developed it, or if it is a neurological issue that he has. So it's definitely not the happiest of videos. It's not the type of video I like to make. But again, we try to show you all aspects of everything that we're doing. And with breeding bearded dragons, you have mishaps like this. Couldn't explain what it is, if it's a defect in the baby when it was born, and that's why he just doesn't eat as readily, because the whole clutch is kind of off. Or if he just had an issue when he was born to begin with. But this little guy definitely has some sort of underlying issue. I'm trying to force feed him right now with some baby food and calcium, see if that helps. But he survived two months but definitely has some sort of issue that's underlying. Don't know what it is yet. But not the happiest of videos, definitely an update I thought was needed to show you all aspects of breeding. If you're thinking of breeding bearded dragons, it's not all happy-go-lucky. Not all of them are going to make it. They're not all going to be healthy, and it's not always fun. Sometimes you deal with stuff like this. Have a great day.